Hey friends, how you doing? Let me know that you're here. Type something good or fun um, that you got to see or do today. Um, something good you saw today, anything. I'm Wendy Dykema and I have been off for a while. Had a really, um, obviously closed sort of a holiday, right? But um, my family and I have enjoyed the time together and um, things are kind of picking up here quickly. So um, my kiddo is, um, at an appointment right now and I thought what a great time it would be to show you some new books what so um, they're gonna be backwards and I'm so sorry but my computer even though I've got a new one refuses to let me go live on my computer so um, the Facebook app is back on my phone for today only <laughs> And then I'll take it off tonight. Look at this beautiful book. Okay, so this is the illustrated stories. Y'all know these were the original sirens to me um, and why I had a party. The illustrated series are phenomenal. So like the Shakespeare, Dickens, all those, those are the ones I started with. They've kind of changed. And now this is a hardback book. You hear that? And it's gorgeous. It's a little bit smaller than the original. See in the text, the text is about the same amount and the pictures are spot on as usual. Now I don't know how long this video is going to last. All I know is this is like one day out of the past, I don't know, 15 that I've put on makeup. So it might be the only one for a while, but I have about, I want to say 25 books I want to show you today. And, um, and I'm very excited about that. So if you want to see all of them, hang tight. They're so great. And the reason I'm showing this to you, this is a sloth doing yoga. Sloth doing yoga. <laughs> this is amazing. The Unhurry Magic Painting Book. And if you're not familiar with our magic painting, I believe every human needs one. Oh, look how pretty that purple is. This goes underneath one of the sheets while you're using the paintbrush with water to make the colors appear. That is right. Um, I had to buy another Greek myths because everybody in my family needs one now, I guess. And my daughter, I gave her the catalog. She's like, I like the Halloween. And I'm like, Halloween is in 10 months. She goes, I don't care. <laughs> and then the customer special I got was the dragons, dual, dual magic painting. So dragons and magic creatures. We obviously love these. And I have a 12 year old. I have a, um, Nope, I don't have a 12-year-old anymore. I have a 13-year-old, an 11-year-old, and an 8-year-old. And so, they're for all of us. Also a 43-year-old. Yep, that's right. I'm 43. I'm proud of it. I got some wisdom up in here. Understanding the climate crisis. So excited, y'all. There's major policy things that are being decided based on these things. And, like, whether or not people believe it. You can look through this book for some facts or use the book to dispute. I don't care what you do with the book. It's full of uh, suggestions as well. Um, and I really like how it's presented. So here it is, look, what's stopping us? Look, there's even, look at this page. I love it. It says, hi guys, I'm home, I got pizza. Wow, why is everyone shouting? What's going on? We're saving the world, but Ben is wrong. We need to cover our roof in grass. No, we need to cover half the roof in solar panels and paint the rest white. Is there one thing these two agree on? You can see that they're not hiding from the fact that this is controversial. And I love how honest that is. I do. We have the entire understanding series because I absolutely want my kids to be armed with facts so that they become um, better arguers, hopefully not towards me. <laughs> this is a new series, look and find. I'm gonna show you one page. Who's wearing a snuggly scarf? Can you find two more tomatoes down here? Um, three hats that match this one. And then um, it's got a lot of different, um, just very easy things to find. So this will be great for ages like two to five. Uh, five might be too old, two to four. And there's lots of different looking finds now. That's what they released this time around. We've also got a hundred things to know about the oceans. So we've got a kid who loves the oceans. They'll have oceans of fun looking through this. Lots of facts. And y'all, if you, if you don't have a basket um, in your bathroom, don't put it close to the toilet, <laughs> but if you don't have a basket in your bathroom, um, these are really good bathroom books because, well, number one, there's lots of water, but number two, there's lots of little facts that they can soak up while they're sitting on the can. And, um, and I always learn a ton when I, when I look these up. So we also own the whole series of 100 Things to Know About because 
my kids are now like they eat this stuff up it's like they cannot have enough trivia but the good thing about this is it's not just trivia it's like stuff that can help people you know here's another look and find this is the zoo and so let's look at the pictures for this whoo who's riding on a blue scooter which other two animals have hats can you find three more orange fish this would be a good like i don't know 20 minute like conversation with your toddler this right here very nice um and the good thing is at the bottom it's in pictures and words so they don't have to be able to read to find the things at the bottom so you say go to the bottom of the page what did you see tomato okay how many can you find secret world of mermaid sorry unicorns i also have the mermaids one look what is this it's got stories and activities and then hidden secrets so fact file on this unicorn fact file on, on stripes fact file on others some stories inside you can see that this would be good for like um to do with a sixth grader or seventh grader we've got some coloring pages things to do with your unicorn y'all so sweet this and mermaids and they are each $7.99, so they're kind of like combo story activity books. And I'm looking at them, and I, I don't know that I could read the stories in a restaurant, but whenever restaurants open up, this is a really good purse size. It's a little bit larger than our um, mini book, well, a lot larger than our mini books, but smaller than a large coloring book. Um, they could definitely do the activities in here. They could just kind of get lost in this. Got two more learning palettes for my kids. I've got, like I said, seventh grader, uh, sorry, a sixth grader. And so I got this. Um, which one is for her? Algebra Concepts, level four, and Fractions, level four. Yes, I know it sounds weird we're doing both, but um, the learning palette, this is what the learning palette looks like. I have everything from pre-K now up to seventh grade stuff, eighth grade stuff. Um, excuse me, this is for my eighth grader, this is for my sixth grader. Um, and I'm very excited to use this. My kiddos require a lot of attention, like I'm sure yours do. And this is self-checking, this learning palette system is self-checking there's 12 cards in each i'm trying to like figure out how to open it but it's hard for me to think and do something at the same time like if i were to do this while i'm talking like i don't know what i would say <laughs> all right so um i'm very excited about these all right next don't leave me yet i still got some good stuff in here y'all mix and match emergency oh look how cute 7.99 and you've got, it shows you in the front what all the options are. Life by, lifeboat crew, doctor, police officer, ambulance driver, search and rescue, emergency call handler, mountain rescue. And then look, it's just like muddle and match if you're familiar with that. But you can switch up the police officer, doctor, all that sort of thing. First aider, lifeguard, vet, nurse. How fun. Oh, it's so sweet. It's so, so sweet. I'm very excited about that. Forgotten fairy tales of kindness and courage. Always timely. Can I get an amen? All right. So for this, we've got the stories that are in here are, excuse me while well, I smell the new book smell, um, the prince in the tower, the cuckoo clock, the girl in the book, the princess and the goblins, the water babies, Amelia and the elves, the ruby ring. And so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stories in here of courage and kindness. See the illustrations? Now, I like using these for read alouds at night um, because, this is the girl in the book, because I know that, okay, they're not, not gonna be like only five minutes, but for my kids' attention span, upper elementary and beyond, it's just right. So it's a little bit longer than five minutes, maybe about 10 minutes, um, 15 maybe, if they ask a lot of questions. Plus it's like fairy tales of kindness and courage hello and usually they're ones that you don't have been heard a lot about like um our other series also i have not heard a lot of uh those stories uh forgotten fairy tales of what are the other ones somebody help me out bravery and something um can you tell how old i am <laughs> okay this is a new series there's two of these books out freddy born to bake happy to help freddy bonbon He's the most amazing baker in town, but somebody loves his cake so much, they've stolen them. 
Who could have done such a thing? And when Superstar Cat Cookie goes missing too, it looks as though the town has a mystery on its hands. Could Freddy's little dog, Flapjack, be the one to solve it? So this one is Freddy's Amazing Bakery, the cookie mystery. The other one is the Great Raspberry Mix-Up. And I'm going to show you inside. It has um, well, 115 pages. So it's a chapter book. And it's a very squat one. Like it feels squat. I don't know how else to describe it. You can see... This is definitely upper elementary, maybe lower middle school, if you've, if you've got someone who likes to read smaller stories still. A great mix for that. And if you got a baker, hello. Um, dinosaur sounds! I know a lot of us love these sound books because they're like touchy-feely and sounds. Um, actually, no, that's the other series. But uh, there's this is finger, this is finger trails and sounds. Look, you can see the detail in the turtle. Look at that. Look. What? Okay. Ah. Okay. Boom. Roar. Huh. Two triceratops are grunting and stamping their feet. A fierce Tyrannosaurus roars. You can hear it for miles around. So you can bring the noise of the dinosaurs into your home with this Dinosaur Sounds book. It is so precious. Um, I know we've got a couple of kiddos who love dinosaurs in our group here. So you're gonna definitely wanna swipe that for yourselves. Then we have a couple of storybooks. I got some storybooks and I'm very excited about these. Um, I've learned so much from our storybooks. Like they're just presented well, they're friendly. Um, they're an easy way to learn a concept. And so here we have now that's a hat. The hat's too big, the hat's too small, hat's too short, the hat's too tall. Um, it's one too crazy and that one might bite. How hard can it be if, to find a hat that's just right? So look at this, look at the inside cover. <gasps> you can spend hours on this, right? Hey, why do you like this hat? Show me the red hats, show me, you know what I mean? That's just the first part. Then you've got good morning. I'd like to buy a new hat. We'll come in right in, sir, we'll help you with that. All right, I'm after an everyday kind of thing. Something to wear, winter, summer, or spring. So he just tries to find all these hats. All these hats, how fun is that, okay? Um, the illustrations are super fun in this and I love the decision making that's involved in this. Um, I really love this book. So good to learn decisions. And to hear your kids' preferences, to see inside like what, what, what they really love. Yoga animals at the seashore. <laughs> If you like yoga, type yoga down below. So this looks very instructional, um, but also fun. So here we have a um, crab. Along the way, crab will meet friends who will teach him how to do simple yoga poses. Then it's your turn. Read the instructions following the pose. So for example, um, crab stretched just like pipefish and crab began to feel warmer. So can you do it too? Sit with your back straight. So it's got little instructions. So I could imagine this would be really fun to do with your kiddo. Um, like we tried YouTube yoga for a while and um, I think it was too slow for the kids. You know, they're like, hold it, hold it. <laughs> so this, this is like self-paced. So you're using a book to do the yoga poses. And you know what? If you learn better with children's books, like I learn languages better starting with children's books than with like the textbooks. This is a good way to learn yoga too. Just saying. Also a fun, cute way that makes you dream of the beach. Love the beach. Millie Mae loves to play, has four stories inside, and here's the first one. Millie Mae dresses up. One morning, Millie Mae discovers a pink envelope in her mailbox. It's an invitation to a dress-up party. Millie Mae explores the dress-up box in her bedroom. Which costume should she wear to the party? Millie Mae can't decide, so she tries on some of her dress-up costumes. Look, 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 how fun. And then um, she discovers her favorite costume of all. She loves her costume. She's all ready for the party. Have fun, Millie Mae. All right, and then Millie Mae in the garden. These are very sweet, approachable stories. We've got this one, loves to play. And then Millie Mae through the seasons. This is $12.99. And um, I think the predictability of the pages will really resonate with your children, as well as how, um, how simple and sweet it is. It's just a very um, relaxing way to um, to wind down the day. Um, yeah. Okay, let's see. I've got four more, you guys. FOMO! <laughs> Soon, 
I believe it's already sold out, but I do have this copy. If you really, really need it, let me know. Um, they'll probably get more in stock later. I'm not sure if you saw the, the, um, the ship that turned over. Like a lot of our books were on that ship that was en route from uh, Asia. Ooh. Here are the illustrations. It says, we wash the tiny clothes, wash, 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 splash, splash, splash. When will the baby come, Mom? We paint the baby's... Uh, Paint the baby's crib, paint, 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 splatter, splatter, splatter. When will the baby come, Mom? Soon. We sort all the toys, sort, 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 play, play, play. When will the baby come, Mom? Soon, etc. It keeps going with all the preparations. So it tries, it makes sense of all of your nesting <laughs> with the kid right along with you. And it shows the kiddo helping as well. And I really love that. Like, it's all in the illustration here. Um, it's not in the wording, but the kiddo is watching uh, the nesting and helping. I'm sorry. I just pulled that out for myself. Um, that's the part I liked. Here we have Miss Molly's School of Kindness. Remember, we used to have Miss Molly's School of Manners. I don't know if we still have it. If you want it, let me know. I'll find one for you. Um, but Miss Molly's School of Manners, or of uh, Kindness. What's going on? Frankie hurt my feelings. Freddie wouldn't share. I want my green car. So, the parents were exhausted. Maybe fresh air would help, said Papa Fox. Let's take them for a walk. I'm at my whiskers end. I wish they would behave. The Fox family hadn't gone far when they stumbled across a rather unusual place. Miss Molly's School of Kindness. Look at that. So, what's the point of being kind? What do you do when somebody drops books? What do you do when they need help? And it has like Richard Scary type um, like illustrations. If you were a 70s kid or an 80s kid, you might remember Richard Scary. Lots going on on the pages, so like your kiddo can tune into lots of different things and pick up um, what's going on. So less of a story. It has a story, like it progresses, but your kiddo can definitely get lost in those pictures, which is fun too. Finger trail, ABC, big letters. Do you see that? I don't know if you can see. Majorly indented here, like finger trails for days. And um, here we have at A, alligator with an accordion. All right, so they can trace the A. Bear in a bubble bath, trace the B. Uh, can't catch a canary, right, with a C. Donkey doodling with a D, and so forth. And then in the front, it's actually got each of the pictures that have been represented with the letters. And so you can say, what is that? An alligator. What does an alligator start with? Right? So you can like, when they get really good, they'll know. That's fun to me. So, and then at the end, it lists the letters. Can you name an animal that starts with A? Can you name an animal that starts with B? And they'll remember. Bear in a bath. Right? Alligator accordion. Alligator. Bear. So fun. You guys, lots to learn in this. And I love how big it is. Like it's not oversized. I would say it's like eight and a half by 10. So eight and a half by 10, which is just right, which means also lies flat very nicely in a playroom. So I am so excited about these. Oh shoot, I forgot the other one. One last one. <gasps> Never show a T-Rex a book. Oh my goodness. Now this is a nice storybook made for laps, you guys. Um, so, this is funny. Never show a T-Rex a book. Just imagine if you do. Well, she won't know what to do with it, will she? She'll probably think it's a hat or a pillow or a biscuit. So you'll have to sit down and teach her how to read. And if you teach her how to read, she'll get excited and want to read even more. So you have to sneak her into the library. And if you take her to the library, she'll want to borrow a lot of books. A lot of books. Look at the librarian's face. <laughs> so this looks like if you give a mouse a cookie, but T-Rexes and books, what's a better combination than that? I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to show you my huge, huge book box and let you know that my... Um, I'm excited to serve you in any way that you need to be served. Um, if you're just tuning in, be sure to look back for all the books I showed. I don't even know how many this is. Honestly, I'm, I'm going to say 30. 30 books that I just got. And on the 21st, I'll be ordering some more to show you guys so you know um, which ones would help your family. Or if you're going to a baby shower, which one you want to get. Um, or if you have a family member 
who um, just needs a way to bond with their kiddos. We all know reading aloud is the best way and I'm here to help you. So I'm happy to put together wish lists or whatnot. Um, tune back in on the 21st, which is probably the next day I'll wear makeup. <laughs> and um, in the meantime, let me know how I can serve you. Look, I'm not, I'm like the first one to understand why people don't do parties, okay? But I'm telling you too, when I found these books, I not only wanted a party, I wanted them all, all the time. And here I am, six years later, totally still in love with these things. And they have seen my kids through a lot of different things, like the whole anger books and feeling books. We've, we've, we've leaned on those pretty doggone hard. And so I want you to have those resources for your family. And that is why I'm still here and loving this, this job. Like it has been the most flexible position job, wait, flexible job I've ever had. And it's so cool. Like that I get to help you. So let me help you. Um, somebody's called. Anyway, they're not calling anymore. Um, go ahead and go back and watch the, the books and let me know how I can help you. Um, and then if you missed the broadcast, no worries. Just go back and hit start and um, definitely comment with something good that happened to you today or that you saw today. All the goodness, all the happy right here, guys. Wendy's happy people. I'm so glad you're here and I hope you're having an amazing, amazing day. And now I'm going to go and sign off so that people in this parking lot don't think I'm crazy. All right, bye-bye.